to... Yeah. And what's she saying? Hang on a minute, love. I don't know yet, do I? Is she still in London? Well, Ken, no, I've I just... just don't want the thinking. She can walk back in here as if nothing's happened. In fact, I think it's better if she does stop in London for the time being anyway. Hope you're going to tell her that. Well, I might if I get the chance. <laughs> Sorry about that, love. So, what's happening? Are you still in London? Listen, I was thinking, if I was come back home, would that be all right? Uh, no! I think you've still got a lot of apologising to do, don't you? Look, I can do that. Tracy, I'm serious. Your dad's still really upset about what happened, and for that matter, so am I. Don't make any plans for the moment. Just stay in London. I'll, um... I'll have a talk to him. Well, how long are you going to be? I don't know how long. Can you talk to him now? Well, I can try, but even then... I... Right, and then you'll phone me on my mobile? I suppose so. Look, I'm relying on you. Bye. Bye. Not dragging you away from anything, am I? Hey, come here away any time you want, mate. I'll tell you what we was talking about. You won't believe this. Go on. Katie. You know, Katie Alice, Thomas's lass. Oh, I do, yeah. yeah. Only took the money for babysitting Sophie and then dumped her with someone else. Yeah. Well, have you asked her about it? No, I haven't. Why not? Oh, Sally reckons it'll only cause a row. Oh, better doing that than slagging her off behind her back. What's that mean you standing up for her? Well, no. I just think you're being a little bit out of order on this as well. No, I'm not the one taking money under false pretenses. Look, if you're that bothered about who looks after Sophie, why don't you just keep your money in your pocket and look after her yourself? Yes, gents. Two pints. That's if you still don't mind having a drink with me. I think we should talk about something else. Yeah, I think we should. Oh! Back wheels, are ya? Or are you just passing through? Because I'd tell you which I prefer. Nice to see you and all. I think I'm going to take this off the phone, love. Do you mind? No, I'll come with you, Mum. No, you're right. I'm just going to get my head down for a bit. I think I'll have a word with my favourite ex con first, then. Oh, Mick. Yeah. I'll get the first one. Thank you for this. It's your lucky night out, lad. Oh, I. Yeah. Because I know you're too daft and too drunk to get yourself home when you should, so I'm going to have you arrested. But I'm off on myself now, so another time, eh? Another time. Hey, another one here. Les, why don't I say to you what many barmen have said to me? I think you've had enough. A large scotch, that I'm going. But are you, though? Well, oh, why? Because I've business to see to. With him that's just gone out. Business that's waited long enough. Tracy, you're back. Hello. I, I'm sorry, excuse me, Rita. Hiya. Uh, look, I was going to call. I've just got one or two things to do first. Well, it would be nice to have a chat. Uh, perhaps we can do that later. We will, yeah. 270 gives you 230. I uh, thank you, ladies. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take the weight off his feet. Yes. Right. Oh, yeah. Ah, don't tell me. Your old woman's thrown you out. Shut up. <laughs> Have you come to see me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was just wondering, uh, could you lend us some money? Just till the end of the week till I get paid? And I thought you were living on love. Do you need money as well? I'm going to clock you in a minute, Tony. But just remind me, what happened to the money you got from the laptop that I'm still paying for? And that went on the flat. Well, that was all the money I had, and some I didn't have, so I'm sorry, Todd, but I can't help you. OK. Thanks anyway, Mum. So what are you going to do? Oh, don't worry. I'll think of something. <sighs> the old tower, OK? Robs your blind, moves out, then comes back to see if he's out left. He's not a little toe rag. He's my wonderful son, and I'd do anything I could to help, anything. If only you had to break the spell that little minx has got over him. Cats do wander, though, don't they? And then come back in their own good time, I've told him. Well, let's hope this one comes back soon. Else you know Norris, he'll talk about no tells. Well, I didn't realise he was so attached to it. Hi, ma'am. Hi, Tracy. I've spoken to your dad, and we both feel that well, you've just not understood how much you've upset us with this business. I have, yeah. 
It's not sounding like it. Look, if you want me to say sorry, well, I'm sorry. OK, I said it. It might be if I thought you meant it. Well, I do. Oh. Tracy? Oh, hi. Just what is it you've rung to tell us? I'm not ringing to tell you anything. I'm just asking. Look, is it all right if I come home or not? I don't know where, He's asking you. Are we to expect more of this kind of behaviour? Or are you going to start treating people with a little more respect? Oh, never mind. Forget it. She's hung up. Oh, well. The ball's in her court. Here you go, boss. Thank you. You do hear about people kidnapping cats, don't you? Catnapping? You do. No one's going to kidnap Monty. He's not a pedigree. We know that, but the kidnappers might not. How long's he been gone now? I mean, it's only a few hours, isn't it? Yes, but he never misses his tea time. He likes his food. Well, so do I, but I do have the odd day out. Maybe he's met a young lady, forgotten the time. Oh, I know, I know. You think I'm being silly, don't you? But well, it's funny, I've, I've grown quite fond of him. I, I wouldn't like to think anything untoward's happened. Have a walk round later, shall we? All oh, right. And if he's still missing tomorrow, we'll put a notice up in Cabby. Oh, thank you. Judging by the tone of your conversation, it appears that they're not exactly welcoming you with open arms, your mum and dad. What's it got to do with you? Oh, I'm just interested. You want to know what I'm going to do next? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> oh, here's one I could apply for. Hello. Look, I know you think I'm a terrible person, but I'm still your daughter. So it's all right if I stop, is it, at least for tonight? Well, it's going to have to be, because I've got nowhere else to go. I'll take my stuff up. 